Next, let us discuss about the sp2 hybridization of carbon. That is second one B, sp2 hybridization. The example of sp2 hybridization here under our discussion is C2H4. The C2H4 is actually called as ethylene or ethene. It is it belongs to the class of organic compound that is alkene unsaturated hydrocarbon. If you go to the structural formula of ethylene, if you go to the structural formula of ethylene, it has four carbon hydrogen bonds separated by one carbon, four carbon hydrogen bonds, one, two, three and four, four carbon hydrogen bonds are there. Uh, here you have, uh, if you go for carbon hydrogen bond, here the bond angle is 120 degrees and here the each carbon undergoes sp2 hybridization and the shape of the molecule is planar planar shape and if you go for carbon carbon here carbon carbon double bond which is having one pi bond and one single bond the sigma bond formed here is the sigma bond formed here is sigma of sp2 hybrid orbital of sp2 hybrid orbital of both the carbons and the pi bond which is formed is because of that is pz of the first carbon and the pz of second carbon the pi bond is formed and if you go for carbon hydrogen bond here the sigma bond is formed of course four carbon hydrogen bonds are there sigma bond is formed but the sigma bond which is formed is because of sp2 of s type of overlapping is taking place. This is the complete summary of the ethylene molecule. Now go for the orbital structure of the ethylene molecule. Yeah, as already we have discussed in the case of sp3 hybridization, go for carbon atomic number 6. Directly I am giving excited state configuration of carbon. If you go for sp2 hybridization in carbon, uh, particularly if you take the electronic configuration, directly the excited state electronic configuration of carbon I am giving you 2s1. 2px1, 2py1 and 2pz1 because of the energy difference is less between 2s and 2p the promotion of electron from the 2s atomic orbital to 2pz atomic orbital becomes very easy. So that is why right now you are able to find 4 unpaired electrons where the carbon is undergoing sp2 hybridization because the carbon is undergoing sp2 hybridization in uh, ethene molecule the number of atomic orbitals which are involved in the sp2 hybridization are 2s atomic orbital 2px and 2py all these three will involve in sp2 hybridization and they will definitely result in the formation of sigma bonds but this 2pz atomic orbital which is not involved in the hybridization will result in the formation of pi bond uh, overlapping with the adjacent 2pz atomic orbital of the second carbon sideways overlap takes place and that will result in the formation of pi bond so let us see what is happening with the help of this configuration, let us see what is happening in the case of ethylene molecule between two carbons. Because each carbon is undergoing sp2 hybrid or hybridization, the number of atomic orbitals involved in the hybridization is equal to number of hybrid orbitals. That is why three sp2 hybrid orbitals are formed. So take two carbons here, one carbon you can take here that is sp2 hybrid orbital then one more sp2 hybrid orbital with an unpaired electron one more sp2 hybrid orbital with an unpaired electron take another carbon take another carbon the second carbon is also having three sp2 hybrid orbitals so the second carbon sp2 hybrid orbital contains one unpaired electron so it's it overlaps again go for the next sp2 hybrid orbital of the second carbon another sp2 hybrid orbital of the second carbon so 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 carbon 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals sp2 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 hybrid orbitals are formed but you are finding that for each carbon one unhybridized pure atomic orbital is present that unhybridized pure atomic orbital i am just showing it in the form of
P z atomic orbital which is not involved in the hybridization go for the next P z atomic orbital which is not involved in the hybridization. So, both of them they overlap sidewise resulting in the formation of pi cloud this is pi cloud and we have for two carbons we have four hydrogens each hydrogen has we take one hydrogen electronic configuration 1 s 1 each hydrogen has 1 s 1 electronic configuration 1 s atomic orbital is spherical in shape we have total four hydrogens so four 1 s atomic orbitals which are spherical in shape they try to overlap with the sp2 hybrid orbital forming a four bond pairs like this hydrogen hydrogen here also hydrogen 1s atomic orbital pairing of electron takes place opposite spin hydrogen 1s atomic orbital so here the overlapping taking place is sp2 of s sigma bond formation here also sp2 of s sigma bond formation here also sp2 of s sigma bond formation here also sp2 of s sigma bond formation and here one more type of overlapping sp2 of sp2 end on end overlapping resulting in the formation of that is sigma bond formation taking place so finally if i give you the structural representation between two carbons there is one sigma bond so therefore i am going to take one sigma bond between two carbon there is also one pi cloud so one pi cloud then there are four hydrogens with respect to two carbons so one hydrogen here one hydrogen here one hydrogen here one hydrogen here carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen and carbon hydrogen this is resulting in the same structure what i gave you initially in describing the structure of the structure and shape of the planar molecule that is ethylene or ethene molecule so this concludes the sp2 hybridization in the case of ethene or ethylene molecule